In this video, we're covering a brand new tool in Form Z, which is called the Assistant. In a previous video, we discussed the Favorites palette, which is accessed by tapping on the spacebar. And in that video, we talked about the Tool Manager and how you can set that up so that you could customize this kind of heads-up display with any tools that you wanted to get to very quickly. So let's revisit that under the Workspace pull-down menu. We can click on Tool Manager. And this is where we set up those favorites. And you can see here, I've done a tiny bit of customizing by adding this offset segment tool to the heads up display. And we can see that the shortcut to access this is indicated down here at the bottom. You can set that up however you like, but the default is the space bar. I'm gonna close that and then access it by tapping on the space bar. And you can see it brings up the favorites palette here. It not only shows us those quick to access tools that we determine what goes in there, but it also shows us a running list of previous tools that we've used in succession. So the four latest tools that I've accessed will always be shown here. And at the very bottom, it says press a key for a list. So that isn't saying press the A key. It's saying press any key basically to get a list of all the tools that you can access through this menu. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and type the P key and see what comes up. And you can see here that there are quite a few options that show up once we tap a key. So pretty much for any key that you would tap, it would bring up a different list here. So if I wanted to access the pipe curve, you can see it's already here at the top. So as I continue to type, it will continue to narrow these down based on what it's finding in its dictionary with all these tools. This is the essence of the new assistant inside of Form Z. You can access this either through the favorites palette by just hitting the space bar, or you can access the assistant tool directly by using the keyboard shortcut option and spacebar on Mac computers or the control and shift and spacebar keys on Windows computers. And so now this is a text input field waiting for input. So if I type in something different like hatch, let's go with H, A, and we can see some of the different options that show up here. It's not just commands that start with the letter that you start typing, but it could be found anywhere inside of those. And it also includes synonyms. So if you're used to the name of a tool in another 3D modeling program, you might even want to try typing that out to see if the tool that you're looking for in Form Z comes up. So you can think of the assistant as a search bar for your project. And the good thing about a search bar is that it's not only limited to tools. It also works for all kinds of additional things, including finding palettes. So for example, if I wanted to open the hatch palette and I didn't want to go up to the pull down menu for the palettes and find it out of this long list of different palette options, I could just hit option space and start typing hatch and you'll see that the hatch palette is indeed an option here. And then once you actually want to activate something, you either click on it with the mouse or you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard up or down to go to the entry you want to select and tap the enter key on the keyboard and it will execute that command. The assistant also learns as you use it more and more. So for example, let's say you wanted to open up FormZ's sweep tool, but you only can really think of the pipe tool and the pipe tool is similar to the sweep tool, but a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and hit option space. I'm gonna type PIP and you can see that there's pipe curve, but we also have axial sweep, boundary sweep, draft sweep, because these tools are related. So I'm going to select the axial sweep tool. What I mean by it learning is now that we've executed that command, the next time I hit option space and I type PIP, axial sweep shows up first where the last time pipe curve showed up first so it's actually paying attention to the command that you're choosing based on the letters that you're typing into it and then using that to your advantage the next time now there are other abbreviations you could use especially if a tool has two names like axial sweep you can actually type as and you can see that axial sweep comes up fairly quickly in the menu because a and s are the first two letters of the two words so there are many ways to find the tools that you're looking for, either by typing the name explicitly, by typing some abbreviations, or by typing synonyms. The last new feature that I'm going to talk about in this video is advanced patterns in the assistant. So again, if I hit option space to bring this up, if you type the letter L and then hit the space, it allows you to select any of the layers that are available in this current project. If I do that again, this time I'm going to type M space. It shows us all of our materials that exist in this project. If I go ahead and type I space, it opens up our lights 
And the reason it's not L is because L was taken with layers. So the next letter is I. And one of the things that you can actually do after that space is you can actually start to type a letter that begins one of the names of the lights. And so I space B shows me my bounce light. And if I click on that, it actually opens up that light, makes it visible and selects it. You can see here in the lights palette, there's a little red check mark next to that. And we can see that this bounce light has indeed been selected. The little center of it there is red. There are a few other options that I'm gonna put up here on the screen now in text form so that you can see what they all are and I encourage you to try them all out. Again, the more that you use this, the smarter it gets and it learns how you wanna work. So this tool truly is a great addition to Form Z, and I think it's gonna make you a lot more productive. The final piece we're gonna cover about the Assistant is the keyboard shortcut to launch it itself. So we've already covered how the option space keyboard command is what launches the assistant, but if you'd like to change that, you can. So what we're gonna do is go to the edit pull down menu to key shortcuts, and we're gonna scroll down in the category list on the left to workspace, and you can see that assistant is the very top entry. And the option space keyboard shortcut is what is assigned at default and that's control shift space on the PC. So what we can do is edit that if you'd like by clicking the pencil icon and typing a new keystroke in and you can add an additional modifier key to that if you want. So you can see right now the keystroke is space, the modifier key is the option key on the Macintosh here. And go ahead and modify that however you'd like and click OK and then that will be saved into your keyboard shortcut preferences. A final caveat about this is on the Macintosh, I know there's a lot of popular launcher type programs out there. A couple of examples include LaunchBar or Alfred or even Spotlight, which is built into the Mac. And so if you're used to using those, for example, if I hit Command Space and that brings up my LaunchBar application, so that keyboard shortcut is already taken by the system. Traditionally, I had Option Space mapped to Spotlight Searches, and I've actually changed that now to be Control Command Space, so that launches a Spotlight Search. I just wanna show you how to modify those in case you need to change those, because it could be frustrating if you type Option Space and instead Spotlight shows up. So if you go under the Apple pull-down menu and go into your system settings, select the keyboard option, click on keyboard shortcuts, and then scroll down here into the list and find Spotlight. And you can see that Spotlight Search has my new keyboard shortcut assigned to it. This is where you might wanna modify that. And if you don't wanna go through all that trouble, you can of course, in Form Z, just use the spacebar keyboard shortcut to bring up the favorites palette and start typing in your command there. And that immediately accesses the new assistant tool. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to get notified when new videos are released on this channel, click the subscribe button below and click the notification bell icon to get a notification when new videos are released. See you in the next one.